It's time for the Giz Whiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1967, recorded Thursday, December 21st, 2023. Charlie and the Podjector. This episode of the Gizwiz DGD has two very interesting gadgets and one pretty normal gadget. I have another in my resolution category plus a crazy viewer video. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs going blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, put in his 10,000 hours in live switching over the weekend, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? Uh, I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good. Doing great. Uh, not much. Is, I'm full steam ahead on Christmas. It is... Uh, do you have a lot of shopping to do? Wrapping, I finished up all my shopping. That's okay. done. Um, I, I had... I went for a different strategy this year of just kind of, I picked up a few things throughout the year and then I filled in the gaps today with <laughs> one last minute oh, okay. Amazon order. Like, oh, that's not quite enough. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Fill it out, ship it off. Uh, I think this is probably the last day if uh, you're ordering things. Yes, exactly, exactly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try it tomorrow. Um, no. So yes, I, I have finally finished all of my shopping, um, but honestly, the uh, man, the work is I, you know, I saw this TikTok the other day that was talking about how um, it was someone who's getting on advice about starting a small business, <laughs> and yes. it was almost like um, uh, anyway, I don't. She just kind of went sideways and went, well, maybe don't want a small business. Maybe you just want to work for someone. And I kind of feel like that right now. You know, I'm just tired of working for myself. I'm ready to just sign up and oh, 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 get a vacation oh, okay. and get a paycheck. No, I'm joking. But it is hard around the weekend when I still have the same amount of work. I just got to cram it all in so that I can get a week off. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> that's the problem with being a freelancer. Yeah. Is, is a holiday... For it's not a holiday. Who has a job is a holiday. <laughs> yes. But not when you're a freelancer. No, and I'm it's... really trying to make it so it's not in the back of my head. I'm just thinking, oh, I really need to finish up that title. And oh, man, there's that one thumbnail that I still have to finish up. Um, trying to knock it all out. So that's that's been the theme of the week is uh, work, 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 work. Oh, um, yeah. And, and we have to get ready because in two weeks we're doing two shows. We are. So that you can be, you and our producer Josh can be in Vegas, baby. Vegas! Woohoo! So next week's a normal show. And then the following week, I can't believe the following week is already the new year. <laughs> I know. And we're going to do. A best of show and then a worst of show, one after the other on a Thursday night. Yes, uh, that'll the, be the and fourth. That's January fourth. So the fourth. The fourth. Expect two shows. One of them will be the best of. One of will be the worst of. And then that next week, they've pushed CES back. It's way back. Way back. It's always been the first week of the year. Um, yes. So typically, we record our best of, worst of. Even sometimes before Late Christmas. December. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. And so it's so far back that we have to make sure that the first and the second week are covered because the second week is when um, CES will be happening. Um, I did see a tweet that E3, the video game show, is just done, just permanently gone canceled. For, gone forever. Uh, gone forever. I'm so curious yeah. how, if CES is going to morph or change this year um bigger smaller like uh what type i think of companies they're claiming are gonna be there? i think they're claiming bigger but i i, I know they keep adding new categories <laughs> um also did you register for pepcom pep i believe so i think so. oh you better have okay because they sent a note today saying um 
If you are not registered for PEPCOM, you cannot register there. We don't care who you are. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, one, one year they wouldn't let Leo in. <laughs> yes, they're serious because about that. Leo Laporte forgot to <laughs> pre-register and went there and they said no, 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 no. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's insane. Yeah, definitely want to <laughs> write that on my to-do list, double check. I'm pretty sure I have, but... Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, to... <laughs> We're doing it live, honesty, um, for, because I do not want my ADHD to get the best of me here. And uh, uh, yeah, no, 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 it's very funny. I I also register for CES so that I can get every press release. <laughs> and you will. And, and, and I will. However, I once again was turned down, <laughs> saying we have looked at the videos and the website links at you and it doesn't really show you are in this business <laughs> what i know well last year i forwarded it to uh the head of ces who said what are they kidding you should be in our hall of fame so <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to forward their email to me again that is so <laughs> weird that is so it's... weird i told you that my my it's never not worked out is I write oh, yes, you just go there <laughs> physically there because I get a little bit more leeway away. And honestly, I never know what is going to get me approved because like one year it was, it was uh, OMG craft. <laughs> they were like, they were like, wow, you got so many followers on OMG craft. Sure. Come on in. And I'm like, this is Minecraft. Not anything to do. <laughs> yes, I know. It has nothing to do with gadgets and, and CES, but uh, okay. Uh, I, I don't know if a computer does it, or I have an idea that maybe an outside agency does it. When you're there, when you physically register, uh, it's you can. I, I'm talking to the person who's gonna. Yes. No. Me. I think that I think that's the key. Which is kind of nice. Is also, yeah. <laughs> you know, they they'll see my Florida ID <laughs> and know that I flew here to be there. Yeah. So. I no, think no, makes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, and better. you can say, well, then go here. I, I, I could say, go to ABC and type yes. my name in ABC News and yes. 50 things will come up. Exactly, exactly. Is it so much easier to be like, and also that's the other thing, is they're looking at my f phone screen. They're not yes. scrolling through whatever, uh, which is fantastic. So, uh, yes, yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing. Hasn't hasn't failed me yet. Hopefully, okay. Fail me this okay, year. I don't think it will again. The good news is also Pepcom and uh, Showstoppers are. Uh, they are the major. You could almost do CES with just those just two. going with those two. Yeah, you know, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, but I want to see the uh, you know the innovation park and all all that stuff. So oh, anyway. and you have to go too. It's supposed to be bigger than ever. The Hall of Losers. <laughs> What? Okay, I, I, I saved the press release uh, to send to you with the booth number. And the, uh, it, it, it is all the products that had a big hullabaloo. Oh, my God. And then just died. And died. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like the, what, Theranos? Uh, and, uh, yeah, and like Apple had early on. Uh, may, maybe it was... The guy, the thing that a couple of weeks ago, the guy had the video in in the warehouse. Didn't Apple have a computer that they called the mouse or something, and people hated it? It had a built-in handle. Anyway. Oh, you're thinking uh, of the Mac MacBook? I think yeah. that one was good. Yeah. I think yeah. maybe it wasn't. Yeah. Um, I remember it for my childhood only. Uh, I mean, one of the things that Apple recently came up was the the iPod shuffle that didn't have any buttons do you remember this product it was no. it was just a a tiny <laughs> brick a tiny brick of aluminum that's all it was um oh my i felt oh wait my, i think i had what it had a little clip in the back yes yes this is it here let's, let's didn't get it have to one it. button on the front no, None. That, no, it has that no that buttons. I didn't know. It has zero buttons. <laughs> this thing, I felt my father owned one of these, and my poor father, of course, couldn't figure it out because I couldn't figure it out. This thing, it had no buttons. How it worked, what it had, I guess it had a slider, 
technically, it's still not a button. Um, it had a mute switch at the top and a headphone port. And oh that's my, it. No, I, I, I missed that. That's it. Little... That's all it had. Yeah. It didn't even have a 30 pin through. connector or whatever. You got this adapter that went from USB A to headphone and you'd plug that in and plug that into your computer and then you would sync your, to, with iTunes, because like, that's how you did it back in the day. Um, and then you'd use the inline controls on your headset. Oh. <laughs> and so you had to have the Apple headset at the time, because almost nobody sold the inline, you know, volume up, volume down, play, pause. Almost nobody sold that back in the day. So you'd have to get uh, uh, the... Head, Apple headset, and that was how you would control it. And it was truly a shuffle. You didn't know what <laughs> you were gonna get because oh. <laughs> you couldn't control it. It was, oh, you, yeah. you had yeah. put 100 songs on it, it would shuffle those 100 songs. That was all it would oh, do. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> That'll certainly be it. I had the shuffle too, uh, yes. which was also tiny. And that actually used your headphone jack to charge. You would put the shuffle upside down on the charge. The, oh, that's... That's this is the not the one you're talking of. You're no, probably talking about this one. This one, that one. Yeah. That one, yeah. Uh, that one uh, was nice. Yeah, it had buttons. You could actually... It had buttons, yes. <laughs> and, yeah, and you charge it through the headphone jack. That is so funny. Yeah. Yeah, this was the shuffle with no buttons. And oh my <laughs> gosh. That was the dongle you got. That was the thing. Oh, okay. <sighs> Amazing. I just felt, I felt horrible for anyone who got that. It was the worst user interface I've ever ever seen um and i just remember my dad got one for from i think it was his uh you know his he worked at a school i think the school gave it to him and i just remember thinking i don't think i could use this like i don't think i could figure this thing out i feel so bad for anyone else who has to try to figure out how to use this thing um that is a good warehouse, if anyone still has one of those. Uh, okay, let's jump okay, into some gadgets. Let's jump in uh, to things you can buy now, but may not want to. Here we go. Nothing says Christmas like the Soyo Incense Waterfall Burner burn Skull Christmas <laughs> Decoration. Yes. Don't get it too close to the tree, or there will be a real fire. It is an incense burner. <laughs> And remember, we did the waterfall incense burn. It's kind of weird. You put the incense at the top, and the smoke falls down the thing. It looks like a waterfall. Well, I guess since I bought that, they sent me the thing about this where the smoke comes out the eyes. So as you recall, or maybe you don't, if you missed that show, you get a ton of these. These are little special incense that come to a tip and you know this is a very wonky top here and let me just see comes a little matte incense burner I don't know I guess that's to protect furniture and I just have to find out you put all right I guess you put the incense in at the top I don't see how this possibly could work. And <laughs> also, like we've a done bullet. these things a lot. Yes. Especially next to the skull. Oh, I love yeah, those. I one of those. Yeah. The arc Last lighters. Time. I have it's mine. Lighting the you have a great one. You have one this with a flexible those, head. Uh -huh. Yes. A little LED. And then I hope there's... Oh, it shows a battery charge. And now... Oh, you know... I don't know. Can you light an incense? Can you light incense? I think you need a flame for that. Oh. Is it working? I have a feeling it'll work. That's my guess. Oh, it yeah, it does. Yes. It did. But is it going to screw up the, the lighter? I don't know. Well, that stuff melts in all over there. Yeah, that's you know, lit. Is that enough? <laughs> well, once you light it, it keeps burning. It doesn't have to. Well, no, I think it is lit. Yeah, no, you know, it's not like a cigar. It doesn't go out. Huh? Oh, 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 <laughs> damn. <laughs> how how Disneyland so burned down. Lopsided. Can you see that? The, this is so badly cast, this thing. Yeah. Ugh. This is this is good if you have a boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so we will come back because I think it takes about 
uh, two minutes before the smoke starts down. Smoke I don't it, see how smoke this gets in your eyes. Smoke comes out your eyes. <laughs> smoke it's a new variation on that yeah. song. <laughs> so you, now you put your mouth over it, uh. and smoke comes out your ears. <laughs> it's really great fun. Anyway, this works great. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, we'll come back in a couple of minutes. Um, I forgot how this works, but we'll find out if it does. Ah. Oh. All right. So we certainly have. Even, my breath even changes it. Okay. Ooh. Uh, we have smoke coming. Is smoke coming <laughs> out? The, oh, okay. So. Just the one. It's eye. crying. Just the one Ooh, eye. good. And then all around the base, inside those claws, I guess they can't be toes. Uh, but it's pretty neat. And of course, actually, the uh, scent is very nice. I, I can hear the Christmas bells is. already. Uh, they have a little yeah. <laughs> to tell you what the various Oh, you didn't get a tree. Oh, you got a skull. Oh, that's oh, so Christmas. Guy, just, just one single eye. Uh, the skeleton head looks like it's not put together well, okay? It's, it's nicely I, designed, though. The uh, smoke at the bottom is great. Not quite... It's really coming out of the eye a lot. The just one eye, though. Maybe right? your, your table's uh, yeah, not level. <laughs> uh, well, not I tried to... I put a wedge as, under it. <laughs> didn't help. Take a look at this. <laughs> not quite the same as that. Yeah, I think but, the casting's a little... Wait, there's more. Funky. Or perhaps less. So I was looking at the photo again, and I saw there was a light ah! in this guy, okay, in the skull. And indeed, there's nothing in the instructions, but in one of the reviews, it says, turn it over, and there's a switch. Oh, wow. Now, this is very bizarre. With the LED blinking, and I don't know how this possibility could change it, no smoke is coming out of the skull. <laughs> okay, can you see all the smoke is going straight up? Weird. It like creates no, enough. So this guy has a slight crack in the head. <laughs> Don't we all? There's a little bit of smoke coming out. <laughs> Smoke's coming out the skull. crack in his head. Um, huh. I don't know. It seems. I guess it's fun. Not well put together. No, no. <laughs> but. As people in the review said, the smoke is nothing like in the photograph. Now, if I had water coming down, <laughs> I could have another disco fountain. Yeah, that anyway, is, uh, leaves so a bit was, to be desired. I think. Yeah, I think it was sixteen bucks. I think I'm going to send it back. Yeah, oh, it it's says, twenty bucks. Well, and then if you're on Prime, it's fifteen. Oh, okay. I did pay. 15. And you get a two dollar coupon, so now it's actually wow. thirteen. Wow! Um, uh, so you saw it. It's nothing like you get yeah. incense sticks, but they're not to be. Yeah. They're not going to smoke them out of the eyes. Uh, you get a ton. You get a hundred and twenty of those little <laughs> insect pods. This just kills me. Where they think people will use this. Ah, yes, yes, a relaxing uh, night. <laughs> My skull. Let's disco uh, light. But let's oh, turn this gosh, I feel thing away from us. <laughs> namaste. <laughs> namaste. Yes. My <laughs> creepy skull. Or even this one. Yes. Uh, come into my office. I have <laughs> something to discuss with you. Yeah. And also, the cones only last about 10 minutes. So be aware of that. The smoke doesn't start till like four minutes. Um, the the waterfall one works better. Yeah, well, you had you had something like that this. Worked, yeah, this one worked better. Yeah, yeah, that is so uh, funny. Yeah, I think it's because it's ceramic. the The skull is two pieces, and where they put it together doesn't really match up. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it looks like uh, Scooter X did find this on AliExpress, but it is less expensive, actually, on Amazon, um, especially with I, the I was going to say, I, did, I, did, I thought I would out Scooter X, Scooter yes. X. Yeah, so you, you found a better deal. Um, <laughs> that is so funny. 
I love that Christmas decor. Oh my! I think they have somebody that they just go and change it and says nothing says Valentine's Day. Well, yes. still do New Year. Nothing says New Year's Happy New Year more, better than a skull. Uh, yeah, I think that the bot just changed it. Ah, you know what? You know what? Search term is doing great right now. Christmas. Let's just uh, update that title. Stick yeah, that in there. That's so funny. Um, oh, Scooter Rex said he found a classy one. <laughs> oh, right here. Let, let me review <laughs> this. Well, this this might, it, it comes this, with a dome. It, it could is come this with a... Uh, <clears throat> this one is... <laughs> it's a little creepy. Oh, oh my nightmare oh, oh, no. Yeah, I don't think... <laughs> Oh, I don't think so. Oh, no. that is, is whoa. <laughs> um, Let's all it. right. So uh, I have a mini. What the heck is it? And okay. kind of fun. Here it Cookie, is. Okay, what the heck is it, Dennis? Huh? Ah. <laughs> a mini flashlight. Could be, but it it comes with these. I'm gonna say a Tic Tac <laughs> okay. warmer. I would guess. Oh, that's cute. No one in the chat's going to guess it, okay? So it started with an email from Mo saying, Hey, Dick, I don't get this. So I followed the link to Amazon, and I thought, I don't get this, so I bought one. <laughs> and now that I have it, I don't get this. <laughs> okay. Is it a is tiny projector? A, yes. With slides? It's a, pet it's a dog projector. Social oh, lamp. pet social. All right. Or the dog projector, the dog light projector for night walking with your dog. Oh, with oh. ten dog slides. Okay, the dog. Now, well, it's not see. a picture of fire hydrants. This is a very bizarre thing. Okay, so it's a projector that your dog wears. Oh, your and dog wears it. There are slides. Of, I should get a piece of paper. Oh Hang on a second. Is that a soccer ball? No, it's a, it's a dog. There are slides oh. of <laughs> dogs. Let me just turn this around. <laughs> what? Yes, exactly. Okay. What exactly? So as the dog walks along, I I I, I don't get it. It is so the dog walks along. See itself, I guess. He projects a picture of a dog, and you get ten of them. So you try and find one. That's the breed that your dog is. Uh, so we have only one thing to do is let's take it on the road <laughs> or out to the park and see how it works. Okay, we're walking. Okay. <laughs> Actually, the image is oh better my gosh. than you would think. <laughs> that but is I'm so sure. goofy. You know, it'd be better if it just lit the dog's path. And of course, we're walking along Riverside Drive, so there are, the street lights are very bright here. But if we were day, way down in the park, this would be a help. <laughs> this is a darker part of the park. <laughs> it is so cute. It's amazing, okay? There are leaves here and there, but look at that. That is pretty. Do you feel like Charlie's walking experience this has been heightened? That's a very bright image. Uh, at first, he was afraid of the image. <laughs> oh, Except he like, kept jumping back. Like, There's a dog on the floor. Let's just walk a little further. Just go down. All right, so it is lighting his way a little bit. Yeah. And you can see the doggy, too. Well, it's way better than I would have thought. <sighs> so... I agree. Way better. Like, execution <laughs> is pretty good. I'm the, the, the funny thing is, we passed four people walking their dogs. Three of them said, oh, my God, that is amazing. <laughs> One of them said, where did you get that? I have to send that to my sister in Florida. She'll love that. That is so funny. It, and so if you have a dog that looks like any of these images. Yes. You should get it. That is now, you can, uh, and I said to Dennis, you know, let's just take the slide out. So you take a slide out, and it really lights where the dog walks. And 
when uh, it looks like it's back in stock again because yesterday it said uh, unavailable. We don't know when it'll be available oh. again. Is it available? Oh, it's Currently still unavailable. unavailable. Okay. At the moment. So I did a search on Amazon and came up with this other one. This is more cartoony. More, more. Yes, exactly. More cartoony. It the slides look almost like the same size. Oh, but I was to see more bigger images of that. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah, it it's just weird, <laughs> and it, you know when your dog walks, the image bounces all over the place. Yes, uh, it, it's just strange. It, Scooter X did find this. On, did, did he? Yeah. What? Uh, and it's the same thing. This whole it like, is breakdown. the same thing because the photos are the same. Yeah, yeah, and this is only seven ninety six over here with free delivery. Yeah. And now, it's in stock. I only paid ten. I couldn't believe it was just ten dollars. Yeah. However, on oh, oh look, wait a second. Color light sheet, host and light sheet. My guess is that oh, it's twenty dollars. It's twenty bucks. Is that yeah. uh, the light sheet and is the slides and the oh, oh, host oh. and light sheet is the is the projector plus the slides. Horrible right, okay. way to describe that, but that's yes. my guess. Okay. Okay. Because over at SD, it was 48 bucks. Whoa. Whoa. But it, it, it just, I, I, I can't, I, I, I would like to have uh, sat at that meeting where the guy said, I had a great invention, a dog projector. That yeah. projects images of dogs on the ground. This Whoa! seems like <laughs> definitely it was a solution looking for a problem. And they're like, yeah, we have these tiny projectors that can hold tiny slides. They can only shine about a foot off the ground before yes. you, were, <laughs> you can't see them anymore. Yeah. What are we using for? Well, dogs are a foot tall. Let's market them to dogs. <laughs> like <clears throat> Becky said, get a disco ball. Oh, you know, a little, a tiny, I have someone somewhere, a tiny little disco ball. I could hang that on the projector and Charlie could be a walking disco. It would be, it would be, That'd be perfect. amazing. That'd be perfect. Honestly, I thought that it was going to be a soccer ball. And that your dog would see it and want to catch it and then walk forward. It's like, oh, you know, oh, a maybe. bone on a stick. And so the different slides were like a bone, a ball, a fire hydrant, like that type yeah, of thing. Yeah, there you go. Okay, That's hang on. Scooter X said they'll make you a custom slide where you can add your dog's name and you must send a high-definition photo of your pet. That would be awesome. Is that, is that? So. It looks like you may make a custom sign. And yeah, it says customation, interesting. He's quoting from somewhere. Probably from uh, AliExpress because that yeah. option was not on Amazon. Um, interesting. That's kind of cool. It almost, <clears throat> that that's reminds me. That's a little me. better. That's yeah. a little better where your dog at night has a picture of himself. With I can his also name. see some crazy cool like implementations instead of, you know, just get rid of the dog photo. What if it was like a QR code and your dog was like on Instagram or like your dog was like a show <laughs> dog, you know? And it's oh, like, okay. find more information about my dog with this projected QR code. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That'd be fun. Um, yeah, if you could customize the slides. That's just, better. That's just, that gadget in itself is just cool. I the the <laughs> the way they've implemented it is a little funky. I Funk, yeah. I don't know how else. I don't know what else like other than like maybe a, a store display that wants an image a small image projected without having a projector yeah. used all the time. It's like I can't think of much other use, use for it. No, absolutely, absolutely. Also, it says Type C charging. And it's micro USB, um, but it's a 500 milliamp battery and it says charge it for one hour and you will get up to eight hours of use. That's anyway, pretty cool. It, I, it's, I, yeah. 
It's like uh, there's a subreddit I saw that was, uh, gosh, I think that it was called like Terrible Idea Excellent Execution. <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. There you go. And it's just like this list of yeah. stuff that's like, yeah, it's okay, nicely that made. Worst idea ever, but you made it so well, so yes. well. The slide locks <laughs> in so that it's not going to drop out while the dog is walking. It, it, yeah. Um, let me see Pretty if I can it. find this. Awful taste, great execution <laughs> is the name of the uh, <laughs> subreddit. And let me see if I can, um, I want to sort by top. And I just want to show this to you just because I think it's absolutely hilarious. Let's go all time top. Okay, we're going to skip the first one. Here's the next one. This lady. <sighs> Uh, on her luggage, a photo of herself. So she can find her luggage. So Awful no taste. one is going to steal your bag off the carousel. Exactly. Horrible taste. Amazing. She did that. That's amazing. Uh, let's see. Okay. Awful oh taste. My oh. Awful taste. Great execution. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I need this? But look. It's oh, there's a Lay's bag right there too. It's, oh, oh my God! It's quite amazing. Uh, <laughs> like, who gets this tattoo? I don't know. I think that that is a uh, King of the Hill, um, dressed up as Sailor Moon is is what I'm getting there with that. Anyway, you I think you get the point. Yeah, you get the yeah, idea. Bad ideas, I... really well executed ideas. Um. Okay, so, with that, what the heck is it out of the way? Yes, yes. Um, oh, let's next? take a look at my final gadget and how it works. Doing a little upgrading here at Disneyland Studio. You know, I'm a bargain hunter. When you see a $1,000 camera for $500, you're apt to buy it. Ah. I didn't see such a camera. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I saw a $30 camera for $15 for possibly a holiday gift for kids. It's the children's digital camera. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> Camcorder should um, be. Not sure that's a Zeiss lens, but it comes with, amazingly, it comes with a... 32 gigabyte SD card, micro SD card. Okay. Charging, unfortunately, is micro USB. Let me get the card back in. Okay. And it had a little bit of charge in it. So when I first opened it, there were six icons on the screen. Um, and it looks like you would... Uh, it, it, look, it looks like a touch screen, but it's not. Anyway, I charged it, and we'll shoot a little video, and then I'll put the card in uh, the computer. And, and when you open it, it doesn't come on automatically. Okay, that's the little screen. And this is the on switch. Uh, uh, um, and it's... It's what? It looks impressive. Even that flip-out screen, it's just like, what? what? Uh-oh. Does it, does it work? That was a little book I got. It said, he, if anything goes wrong, hit the reset button, which is right over there. So I just pushed reset. <laughs> and we'll try it again. And Nothing. Nothing. A what? Yeah, ah! exactly. Uh, all right. Well, that shows you. Oh, well, you should read the instruction book. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's not Logitech. It's more like <clears throat> Logitech. <-drek. laughs> Rip off oh, I'm tech. So disappointed. And the disappointment goes on. Because I brought up the Amazon page where it says, you know, regularly typical price thirty two dollars. I think it was even less. I think it was thirteen dollars. And I went to the page. Uh, uh, 
32 gigabytes, there's the camera. And today, a couple of days before we're recording this, now it's <laughs> now nine, $9. Now it's $10. What? <laughs> you know, I didn't even look and at the rating, so it's 3.9. Currently, there's a 10% coupon, Unbelievable. Too. Yes, it's so down it's to only $9. Four functions, six filters. Five puzzle games. Anyway, um, that is I mean, you know it, crazy. It, if if it worked, I don't see it what a great. steal! <laughs> a couple of reviews. I should have read the reviews first. Um, <laughs> stayed on for two minutes. <laughs> worked for two days. <laughs> My kid broke it on the third day. Um, well, you know what. You could pass this off as a bag from Tiffany's <laughs> and put a piece of crap in there and just say, oh, Tiffany's doesn't put their names on their bags anymore. That is... <laughs> what can I tell you? Uh, I guess if it sounds too good to be true, it's nine bucks. If you want to risk... No, it's ten bucks. If you want to risk it, fortunately, I can return it to Amazon. And also, the good thing is, when you return a package now, I hope it's still good in December, when you drop a package off for Amazon at Staples, they give you $10 off any $30 and above purchase. So, I usually need a lot of stuff at Staples, so I'll save 10 bucks and get rid of this. <sighs> Peace, oh crap. <laughs> Buy a real camcorder at Staples. Yeah. That is Oh my gosh! Uh, but if you want to risk it, it's now nine dollars, right? Didn't you? Yeah, say it it's a- nine ninety nine with a ten percent coupon, which would mean the, you know round up to ten. It's now nine bucks. It's nine dollars. Um, someone asked the resolution. They are claiming that it is eighty p. Eighty p. That's right here. Ten eighty p video and twelve megapixel. JPEG images. Yes, and a 4x digital zoom. D- zoom, and use the cable to plug it into your computer. To although I don't know why you just can't take the SD card out and right put it in a computer or. I guess it has its own know. internal it, battery, so also would charge it. Typically, you wouldn't show it plugged into a computer to charge, but yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Uh, Never got to that screen. Oh, there, oh. yeah. Oh, no, this is... I think... <sighs> oh, there, look. Open it on Christmas Day only to find a blank screen. Yeah. Well, I, I, had a, I had a screen when I, it came out of the box, but evidently charging it, it doesn't like that. No. Ugh. Uh, yeah, it works work. as long as you don't charge it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Dang. Um, I really wanted to see the quality of this. I wanted to see how crummy it turned out because it's yeah, got to be bad. Yeah, I was too hot because when I saw 1080p, I thought, oh, this would be great. <clears throat> I'll do a little video here at Disneyland, and then we can see exactly. Uh, but <sighs> Dang. anyway. <laughs> okay. If you had nothing to do, buy one for $9. You can always return it. Yeah, I know. I just kind of need it as a prop. It's worth the plastic, I feel it like. It is, absolutely. <laughs> uh, and at $9, it's entirely possible it would be one of those uh, don't bother returning it kind of things. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, <laughs> would the yoga mat fit in the bag, says uh, <laughs> Captain Jay. <laughs> that yoga mat was the funniest thing ever. Um, okay, moving on to... You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okay, dokie, we are at it uh, with our New Year's resolution gadgets. I recorded a video earlier, so let's take a look. Okay, we're coming at you. Different location. I'm sitting in front of my desk just because uh, I felt like this is the easiest way for me to record this video. So, uh, New Year's resolution gadgets is the theme. And honestly, what I was thinking, what comes to mind is fitness, right? So many people's fitness goals kind of change around the new year. You typically set new goals for yourself, trying to be a better version of you. But sometimes those fitness goals do lead to injuries. 
And so that's the theme, kind of, this is where I was thinking with this gadget. So this is a Band-Aid, antibacterial bandages, uh, from Card? Card? Cured? 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 Cured. Anyway, yeah. uh, they're performance bandages. These just really struck me as something that is just so unique. They are formulated and made, designed uh, for people who are going to sweat through them, uh, for them to be super sticky um, whenever uh, you're moving a ton. So there's some. here are some of the uh, things that they mention. Extreme hold adhesive technology. That's right. We got the technology in this one. It even <laughs> mentions that right there on the front. Extreme hold adhesive technology. Extreme hold is a registered trademark and nobody else can use that um so uh that's cool the antibacterial non-stick pad i assume most managers have that but this is like really hyping that it's antibacterial which i guess is good if you're worried that you're going to sweat a lot and then it does say it absorbs three times more than the leading brand so the pad itself is uh where this little bullet point is pointing at is that the actual pad and then a durable and flexible material i got a variety pack they do come in these insane colors and i can even see the colors sort of through the packaging here there's like a bright yellow oh my gosh uh an orange there's a whole bunch of them um so I'm going to choose a few of these. I'm going to kind of stick them on my arm. And I think the best way to test these without actually like doing a workout would be honestly just like wash my hands or uh, kind of just get those bandages wet. There are in this pack four different styles of bandages. And so let me pull each one out. Okay, the first one here is just your typical bandage. I ended up grabbing a black one. And oh, the pad is is white. And let me, like, inspecting this bandage. Does this seem any different than a normal bandage? How is this any different? I will say that the uh, the pad that typically, like, absorbs, uh, that is, like, your scab, basically, it does seem a tiny tad thicker, but it is not uh, obvious that that is a, an absolute, like, ton thicker. So I'm going to add this to my hand just right there. I will say that they are using more of a canvas type of uh, material on the top, and that does feel pretty durable, and it it stretches and moves kind of nicely. This next one is bright orange. This is what they are calling the knuckle bandage. The pad is actually yellow. Look at that. That's kind of interesting. We'll use it how uh, it describes. Let's say I scraped a knuckle. I'm going to attach that. It has little wings on oh, it. Oh, okay. And then That's that allows my finger to bend kind of nicely. Okay, there we go. We got the knuckle bandage there. I can see the variety of colors uh, down there. This one is purple. This is called the fingertip bandage. I've also used this an awful lot on uh, the back of my uh, heel. If I'm getting like a blister back there, uh, that's always uh, kind of nice. I guess we'll use it as it it, uh, it it says. This is a fingertip bandage, so we'll put it on my fingertip. Man, I am looking like I just I like I fought a cactus. Finally, <laughs> the big boy. This is the biggest one. This is neon yellow, and uh, the pad here is just white. It's so interesting that I've never seen pads be a different color. We're just gonna slap this on the back of my hand, just like that. And I will say that the stickiness, it feels very, it does feel very sticky. Now, these are fresh and new. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to wash my hands a few times. <laughs> I think that'll be a good indicator of how uh, adhesive this is when it gets wet. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, back from washing my hands. They're nice and kind of damp to kind of just simulate sweat. So far, nothing's really pulled up. Maybe, maybe a tad, no. I don't think so. No, no, no edges are really popping off uh, of the bandages. So um, I have a few hours before the show, so I'm just gonna leave these on uh, and see if uh, any of them, you know, do anything weird. Especially now that they're all kind of damp. I want to see uh, how long the adhesive will will do well. I realize I did not put that one down very well. Anyway, that may be an issue, but that's my own fault. Uh, so I'm just gonna see how uh, how they last. 
quick update for transparency. You may notice this bandage has been removed. I've replaced it over here. I'm trying to get work done, and uh, I use these fingers too much, so <laughs> I've switched the bandage. I'm actually going to go wash my hands again to make sure that this one gets all wet like I'm sweating. Uh, so we're going to have another round of workouts. Well, it has been a bit, and I think that I can give uh, a few opinions. So uh, I've had the only issues I've had is where adhesive was attached to the uh, the canvas. So when it went from adhesive to canvas, I've had some issues uh, over here as well. Uh, but when it is stays uh, on the adhesive to skin, like skin to skin contact, like you notice right here, it's all great except for this one little flap, which is attached to uh, another piece of canvas and I this happened as uh, it got wet basically is um, as the canvas gets wet it uh, as long as it's skin to skin contact or adhesive to skin really great it's held up really really good um, but I think that as the, the wetness doesn't work uh, when the canvas itself is wet uh, sticking to the adhesive. So that's what I found everywhere else. Uh, and I've done a few chores. I like took the dogs for a walk, um, that sort of thing. Um, it being damp, um, like this one's still kind of damp even from those uh, original uh, sort of things. It being damp really hasn't been that big of an issue. It's only uh, that one issue uh, that I've been talking about. I'm gonna take this one off uh, for now. Now, let's talk about the cost. So here they are on the uh, Walmart website. Uh, they are inexpensive, only coming in at seven bucks, yeah, and you get fifty. Boy, that is... And uh, here's all the variety uh, that you can see. So I think that this is actually pretty good for uh, it. Only uh, you know, it's not it's not it's not that far off from just normal bandages, but. Um, Especially if you're someone who is going to be doing workouts and you're going to be sweating through uh, your bandages, which has happened to me, uh, some bandages just cannot uh, hold up uh, at all. Uh, so if you have an injury that where the where the adhesive can stick directly to your skin and that this doesn't really need to be sticking onto itself, I think you're all good to go. I have used other bandage brands. Um, I can't remember if they're just generic or Band-Aid brand. Uh, I can't remember at, at the moment. But uh, they did not uh, stick through the sweat. And what's happening right now with how this is, you know, damp and this is damp and, and still uh, really attached well, um, that is something that those brands just weren't doing. You can kind of see the amount of adhesive just from how far my, my skin is wow. pulling here. It is more adhesive than normal. Uh, yes, it does uh, hurt as it's pulling my hairs off the back of my hand. Um, but I will say that uh, that is actually a big win for me uh, because I would I would recommend this. And I do feel confident if you're someone who's uh, going to need a bandage and then also needs to work out while that bandage is on. Seems like a, uh, a, a great option. <laughs> I agree with um, uh, Loquacious. This is now I know more about bandages than I <laughs> ever needed to know about before. Um, one final thing to say about these is that these were in the sports section. They were not in the first aid section um, when I was in Walmart. They were in in the you know where the weights and the training equipment is uh, is where I found those. So if you want to go in person to find them, uh, that's. That's where you'd find them. Mosworm said that that uh, he used it on his ankle and likes them a lot. And, yeah. and they're very inexpensive. I think they're probably cheaper than bandage band-aids, right? Yeah. So to give you an idea on the cost, I did look up a band-aid pack, and the different it was. Uh, this is six ninety seven, so seven dollars. The band-aid brand was eight with change, so it was a dollar more, but you'd got a hundred bandages. So it was almost half the price, but still. But we're these talking, are all different shapes. Yes, exactly. Right? And there's yeah. still 50 of them. I mean, it's you're getting a lot of, of bandages. Um, and yes, they're all different shapes. So you can kind of see, these are all the uh, large oh, yeah. I, yeah. bandages. Here are the normal sort of strips 
Uh, that's what you get, and these are in uh, two packs. You have the knuckle bandages, so you can kind of get an idea of how many of yeah. them that you get. And then finally, oh wait, here's one more strip, um, and the fingertip uh, bandages. So, I mean, 50 is a lot. This is, this would last you yeah. uh, a while. That, so. That's a train wreck quality right there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I got to say that, that I like them. Um, I know that we have spent like 10 minutes talking about Band-Aids, <laughs> but... Uh, but it is definitely a product that I didn't know existed as a uh, super adhesive uh, Band-Aid made, or, you know, Band-Aid is the brand, I guess, uh, bandage um, made for people who are working out and sweating through, the, through them, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay, moving on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy when gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, our email is from Richard Vega, who said, although not exciting, this gadget has solved a problem. And here is Richard's video. Here we go. Okay, we're coming at you. That's my I'm video. Jack. We had our fireplace and wall renovated, and we decided to finally mount this horse needlepoint that my wife's sister made for her decades ago. Aw, gorgeous. Problem is that it's in a very heavy frame, and we have concrete cylinder cinder rocks behind this wall. I decided to try these. 3M claws. Huh. They're supposedly able to handle heavy weights. They're supposed to work on simple drywall. And like I said, this drywall has cinder blocks behind it. So you cannot drill a pilot hole to hold a heavy weight. So the claim is that this small little thing is supposed to hold that heavy frame. And go in very easy with this. <laughs> I'd be steps. scared too. So all we did was put it against the it wall so and then push it in. He's not even using a hammer. Chumley says it'll be as strong as your paint. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so the final test to put this up That's there. That's amazing. I know, if it, does it hold? Shocking if true. Crashing now. There we go. Wow. And so far, it seems to be holding. We'll let you know in a couple weeks if it suddenly get a bang in the middle of the night. <laughs> exactly. Have a good day. Uh, All right. So I emailed him and I said, Richard, which one did you use? The 40. And he said, we just used the littlest one, the 15 pound one. Oh. And that was just yesterday or the day before. And he said, it's still working fine. Wow. So uh, it looked like he just pushed it in with his fingers. Yeah. No, I've, I've never had drywall. So a drywall is soft. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty soft. It's, you could put a thumbtack in it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's crazy. It's funny because I know exactly what he means or, or you know what you mean when you know, see if it crashes in the middle of the night. It's very sadly, you know, for uh, ever I had the Mad Magazine that I was in behind yes. me i used command strips to push that up against the wall i used four of them those were rated that was way more than they were rated for and it fell and it then it cracked the glass so i need to go oh. get that uh fixed the the um i don't think that the uh the, i can't tell how they mounted the cover the cover slid and there are definitely tears in it but i think they may have done that to mount it anyway um I don't think it's damaged, <laughs> but I'm really upset by it. And I wish I have drywall where that was. Uh, I was trying to be a good renter and use, you know, command strips instead. Um, so I'm very curious about this, especially also here in Florida, they use uh, cinder block too all the time. Um, 
And so yeah, he said I, it makes he said it makes a very tiny hole. And he said it's great for apartment people who don't want it to face a wall. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. I mean, the reviews are really where I would look. Oh, my see goodness. If, wow. And they're great. 4.7 out of 5. I'm sure that there's going to be one or two people where it fell off the wall. But you can kind of get a... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I like them, but description is incorrect. Oh, okay. No, we want the broken art. Like, there's no photos of anyone having it fail. Interesting. I, I'm sold. I would get this because <laughs> I like. Someone Regatta said, for extra safety, use a couple of those band aids. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, I, this is. I, I would try this out. Um, I, I, the one reason I bet I haven't is because I don't know if I've seen. These in stores typically. I'm I have I've never. I never heard of them or seen them. Yeah. And, until Richard's uh, email. Apparently, Target carries them. I see them okay, on Walmart. They, Let me see if they're in store. Delivery pickup. Yeah, looks like I could buy. I could get them. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I have never and seen these. The three pack is great because it's different weights. Yeah. Wow. Eric okay. Duckman must be good to, too. I never good heard to of them. Know. Good to yeah. know. Um, yeah, it must be an, a new product. Yeah, never heard of them, says Eric Duckman. I agree. They're there at, uh, uh, I'm looking at it on Home Depot. That's great. Okay. Wow. Uh, Richard, yes. You, uh, Richard, uh, your, e, your Mad Magazine Jan February issue is in the mail. Uh, if you have a uh, any kind of a gadget okay like richard had these great wall hanging devices none of us knew about make a little video one to three minutes uh like richard's make sure it is in landscape mode and we can hear you you can be in it if you want or you can just talk over your video i'll put it up on youtube when you upload it you can click unlisted that way, only people with the URL will be able to see it. And send the URL to us, mail at gizwiz.tv. Uh, we have one more video in stock. Uh, so we're looking for more videos. Uh, so make one and get it into us. Anything to do with a gadget. Do it now. now. With that, let's move on to the letter. Our letter is from George F. in Ireland, Ooh. who said, I just wanted to provide a link to AKC Reunite, uh, American Kennel Club, American Club. Kennel uh, <laughs> uh, Company, AKC. Uh, AKC, whatever it is. OK, <laughs> uh, if your pet, there we go. Um, if your pet is microchipped. You can have a service where they will, for a lifetime, it's $19.50, uh, update your microchip information. Oh. And also, they have reunited over uh, uh, 50,000, uh, I'm just looking there, Chad, we have helped locate over 650,000 pets. That's crazy. That <laughs> one out of three pets gets lost. I, I, I cannot believe this. Um, so if your pet is already microchipped, you can uh, pay nineteen fifty and update this at any time. And I believe they also offer a service where you they can tell you where to get your pet microchipped. And and she said, I like the ring pet tag that Mo talked about that you showed in episode nineteen sixty five. Uh, but I would use that as a supplement to the microchip. Yeah. For international travel, microchip is mandatory. Oh. So when I 
moved from Oregon to Ireland. My cat Hank was microchipped, and I had to update his info on the AKC Reunite website. Air Canada also bumped Hank the cat and his servant, my significant other, to first class. I, on the other hand, ended up in the boot, a.k.a. economy class, next to the laboratory at the tail. Was prohibited to walk into first class. Oh, no. Oh, that stinks. Talk to my significant other through notes handed to the flight attendant. (laughs) My cat loves first class. (laughs) Thank you guys for producing the Giz Wiz. I look forward to watching it every week from Ireland. That is awesome. That is awesome. Also, put the cat in the back. I'm sure that it could make some friends. (laughs) Okay, get the the humans in first class. Cat can sit next to the lavatory. Exactly. Um, I guess no exactly. unaccompanied minors, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so that yeah. is, first off, this is a great resource. Uh, so, you know, if you have your tag, this is where, this is like part, the, what I was complaining about was all of the steps involved in finding the chip, making sure it's updated. And this was definitely a big piece of that puzzle. The next piece of this puzzle, if I, if I'm, you know, I would love to use the service to update uh, my information, is this: What tag do I have? What's my ID number? I think on my when I adopted, uh, I guess when I adopted all of my pets, I got paperwork that will ha- that should have this. But yes, Charlie has paperwork from exactly. Uh, Charlie, I'm also wondering if I could go the next time I go into the vet is just say, hey, can you tell me what my, can you scan that animal, please? Tell me, <laughs> yeah. tell me my information again. Um, because uh, that's another thing that's like when moving all that paperwork. Yes. Everywhere. So uh, I got to find that. And this is the next step. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and AK American Kennel Club was with the, uh, okay, okay. the chat. I know the initials AKC more than what it stood for. <laughs> That's great. Uh, hey, we have a few things that are just so exciting. Um, so don't go anywhere. Uh, I know we're here at the end of the show. I am so, so, so happy for um, that everyone has been supporting the CES fundraiser. We have had a lot of movement since last episode. We're now at 30... funded to the goal. That is awesome. And just thank you guys so much for this extra generosity to get us to CES. This is awesome. This is absolutely insane. Uh, So thank y'all. And everybody, thank you so much for supporting us on Patreon. Um, patreon Patreon.com slash gizwiz. That's our Patreon. You guys support us every episode. Thank you so, 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 so much for your support. If you want to give back uh, reoccurring, uh, you can over at patreon.com slash gizwiz or head to our website, gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab at the top of the website and there's a big old banner that'll take you to our Patreon page. Speaking of our website, that's where you can watch the show live. That comes to another exciting thing. On the 4th of uh, January, we'll be taping our best of and worst of episodes. So that'll be two episodes and two kind of different special episodes. So you can look forward to that. And other than that, I don't think we have. Oh, uh, we're going to do, we'll be on, we're doing like a half hour special New Year's Eve. That's right. So the if third you're thing I was super excited about yeah. is, yeah. yes, is New Year's Eve. We're going to be uh, bringing in the new year here in America, East Coast. Dick and I are both on the same time zone this year, which is really cool. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to bring in the new year for the Eastern time zone. It's always a really fun time. We goof off. We hang out with the chat room. We pop champagne and blow buzzers right at the, right at the exactly, time. Exactly. So, exactly. So uh, join us if you're home alone or yes. with friends. Yes. We you have a that. place to go. Exactly. Exactly. I forget. Do we ask for audience participation? I can't uh, remember anymore. I, I don't think we do for that. Traditionally, okay. what do we do? We just do yoga. Uh, to re- so to re- <laughs> to, traditionally, we just drink champagne. <laughs> we wait to do a countdown and Perfect. people in chat, you, you can do shout outs if you want to email us with a shout out, we yeah, can do that too. Good. 
Right. Um, and you can watch the show uh, at gizwiz.tv. Just head on over to gizwiz.tv. Uh, that's our website, and you can see the live show. And join the chat room whenever we are live. And schedule changes will be at the top of the website. If we're not live, you can also see all of our past episodes there on the website, gizwiz.tv. Different Even website. Even Gizfiz is there. Gizfiz has been going on f three weeks independent. Yeah, four three, weeks. three or four episodes. They're yep. also up there. Yep. And uh, so head on over to gizwiz.tv. That'll happen. That happens Wednesdays. 8.30 Eastern Time, uh, and Dickie D chats and hangs out with the chat room and has a great Gizfiz time. So head on over <laughs> there uh, and, uh, and join in on the fun. Gizwiz.biz is Dickie D's website where he writes articles about all the gadgets that we talk about on this show. So if you ever need more information, gizwiz.biz, that's the place to go. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? And we are getting to the end of this month. Yeah, which means just it's 10 days to go. Really close. This is basically the last episode. If you're listening to this and you haven't guessed, this is kind of your last reminder because the next episode may come out too close to the time. So uh, head on over to gizwiz.biz and get your guess in for what this gadget is. Six Mad Magazines for correct answers, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers, and uh, I hate I hate to give it away right <laughs> at the end here, but um, this is actually uh, a toothbrush um, that you know you just you brush all your teeth at once because you know it's one side and then the other side and you're done. Okay, okay. It's a quickie quickie toothbrush. Um, <laughs> oh, if you know what it is, get a guess in at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.